club is sometimes seen as old-fashioned as an institution, but it looks to be entering the modern age, so I presume you don't like that, Leo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wimbledon, uh, I mean, I'm quite ambivalent to this, uh, is replacing its honours boards uh, before next month's championships to remove the titles Miss and Mrs in front of the names of female winners to replicate the men's boards. Uh, not that the men's boards have got uh, had Miss and Mrs on them, but uh, but yeah, basically they're trying to sort of slightly modernise the sport. And finally, if this comes this comes the week uh, that John McEnroe, former Wimbledon champion, uh, was calling for for the sport to to just do away with with gender division, then you don't need to have any Ferrari around uh, transgender uh, contestants, um, and you know also the because he he'd been criticised for saying. Um, you know, somebody ranked 600 could beat Serena Williams. You know, the greatest female tennis players of all time could be beaten by, you know, relatively mediocre uh, male athletes. Um, and so he, he was called out for that and he said, well, look, it's true. And if you don't believe me, let's do away with gender roles. So may, maybe he's got a point. Hmm? Well, I'm not particularly, I'm with you on that. I, I think they're just bringing things up to date, aren't they? They never put Mr. next to the men. What are they going to put next to Boris Becker? Just a number a prison number. <laughs> no, sure. That'd be great. 24601 or whatever it is. Yeah. And then, I, you know, I would say, um, yeah, we, I mean, like, I, I worked at a private school where uh, when there were official invitations to parents, it would be uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bertie Sheen. Or, and then the woman was subsumed into the man's name. And that was, that's a very old fashioned thing to do. And they got rid of that while I was there. And, I, and everyone was like, yeah, of course, hmm. you know, we, it's, we're in the 21st century now. Um, Mr. and Mrs. It does seem Irrelevant, the marital status of an athlete. I don't think that matters, does it? Yeah. Unless you really crunch the numbers and find out that the, the unmarried ones really do score better. You know, you could, you could delve into the data, <laughs> but unless that's happened, you're right. It's, it's not relevant. Yeah.